Hello guys, today is Saturday. Our air conditioner stopped working. So last night it was a struggle. <laughs> uh, I didn't get any good sleep because it literally felt like an inferno. So today the goal is get the air back working. There's nothing worse than not having air in the summertime, especially in Georgia, especially on the top floor, which is generally the hottest because heat rises. So taking care of that, cleaning, getting all prepared. I have family coming in town tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be an exciting week. What else? I'm doing a little staycation at the end of this week. So that will be fun. But yeah, other than that, it's been a pretty quiet weekend. I'm just focusing on cleaning and laundry and packing and relaxing and spending time with Chloe. I think I'm going to give her a haircut tomorrow. She needs one badly. I keep telling her that she looks like she's been roaming around outside without a mom. <laughs> I made some beef and broccoli for lunch and I'll be eating that for dinner along with some shrimp. It's kind of like hibachi without all the rice <laughs> um focusing on that i want to get a workout in i'm just waiting for the heating and airing guy to leave i also want to watch white chicks i feel like i was talking to someone recently and i quoted a line from the movie and now i really want to watch it so might do that one thing i've been loving is mulatto's new album i love her she is just so atlanta <laughs> so i've been listening to her new album all day today i don't know i'm in love with the album it's very 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 atl darling it's very um interesting <laughs> but i've been liking that so if you're into southern rap uh i'll put a picture on the screen so you can check that out but yeah guys it's just been a relaxing weekend i would love to go to the pool but since we are having our staycation this weekend i'm like I might as well just wait until I wash my hair before then. So, yeah, I'll share anything else I do that's interesting this weekend. But it's been pretty relaxing and low-key, just how I like it. That's one of my favorite parts of quarantine is actually that it's really relaxing. I don't feel pressured into doing much. And honestly, I love that. Like, the only thing I wish I could do is travel. Everything else, I don't mind. I'm loving the quarantine life. I really do. Does anyone else feel that way? Or is it just me? And we need a new air conditioner. <laughs> Yay, how exciting. I feel like we always have something that breaks when I'm vlogging. Chloe, it's too late. Chloe, it's too late. He's leaving. Sis, you're delayed. If you were trying to protect me, it's over. We just call him better. We're just going. I loved Blue's Clues. Oh my gosh! It's huge! <laughs> Sashi! Thank you, friend! Oh my gosh. So in the last vlog, you would have seen that my fridge broke. And before I could even tell my friend, she was like, oh, well, I'm getting you a new one. I know you're going to say no, thank you. Because y'all know in the vlog, I said, I don't really need one. Oh, this is the shelf. Did I have two shelves last time? No, this looks taller. Ooh, can you see it? Oh, huh, there's something at the bottom too. So I'll link this down below, you guys. This is really cool. Mm. And it's digital. I can change the temperature. Ooh, it's magnetic closure. Oh, this is even better than the TV Blends one. have known this was coming today. I didn't. My timing was just impeccable. It's always. Well, we know why. Oh, people. <laughs> That's why. I know the Lord. 
Yes, she does, you guys, for real. For real, for real. Look at it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to fill it up today. Oh, but that's why. Uh, because, you know, condensation, it doesn't drip out of the refrigerator. It drips into that thing and you can empty it. Like a real refrigerator. Oh. The other one that we got. Oh my gosh. Okay, that makes so much sense. See, they know how to design a fridge because I thought that that was to stick something in. Oh my gosh, it's called a car refrigerator. Huh, well, it is hot outside. And it also has troubleshooting tips in here. Wow, it's actually a real refrigerator. Mm. What do you know? I'll fill this up. I'll fill my fridge later and show you guys what I put in here. But I usually keep all my serums in here, my oils, my sheet masks that go in here, and my moisturizer. Not so much my sunscreen because it gets hot when I put it on my face. But now I can keep like my uh, cleansers in here because this is taller. Oh, I love it. So cool. So spicy. Yeah. I like this one. Yay, it's new fridge time. Hey guys, I'm in the middle of packing, but I wanted to take some time out to finally use, for the first time, my Clean Skin Club clean towels. Once again, shout out to my girl, Christian. Uh, I was just chatting with her on Instagram. She put me on. I'm going to link her Instagram down below. I'll put it across the screen. If you watched the last vlog, you would have seen that I purchased these because my girl Christian talked about how amazing these were and how she likes them because she knows that every time she's washing her face, she's using a clean cloth. As you know, I suffer from acne. So the basis for me trying this product is just to see if it will make a difference in my skin. I do kind of think it's a little wasteful to have a single use towelette, but I'm open to trying new things. And if it makes a difference, this is something I will purchase because I think they have like an auto renewal and it's a little over $7 a month because I wanna say this was $15 and it comes with 50 towelettes. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna put my hair back with my Hello Kitty Spa Headband. My normal routine as far as washing my face, at least recently, has been to use my Josie Marin Pore Clearing Pineapple Enzyme Cleanser. And this is what it looks like. I will link this down below. This really helps my pores to feel super, super clean. So how are you supposed to use this? It says the whole point of using a washcloth is to cleanse your face or body. But if you use a regular washcloth, you're spreading icky bacteria. In fact, that seemingly harmless little towel could potentially introduce new germs onto your face and into your body. Gross. We all know that nothing is ever 100% germ free, even a freshly washed towel right out of the dryer. Think about it. A washcloth is left to air dry each day. As it sits there, it gives bacteria and other microbes a chance to grow and spread. Ew, literally. So, okay, so step one, clean mirror wall or flat surface. Oh, you can mount this. Huh, I probably threw my box away and didn't notice there are actual mounting pads. I won't be putting this on my wall though. Anyway, so I'm going to wet this. My girl Christian spoke about how this is super, super strong even when it's wet, but it's also very soft. Oh, wow. Yeah, this feels like, can you guys hear this? This is super, super strong, but it's also very soft. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna wash my face with my Josie Marin cleanser. Let me take my watch off. So this is how I wash my face. I lather it up and then I use this to take off the cleanser. Oh my gosh, this is really, really soft. And I never actually thought about 
the fact that you're leaving your washcloth to dry and microbes are literally growing and multiplying. So you guys know I rinsed the towel to begin with. I just rinsed it out. No rips, no tears. I'm just gonna wipe off my face one more time. I think I'm hooked. <laughs> I really think I'm hooked. These just make your face feel so clean. They're really, really nice quality. And I do like the fact that I know that each time I wash my face, the cloth is actually clean. So first time using this product, I'm hooked. I didn't want to love it because like I said, it's not really cost effective. I mean, the washcloths that I use for my face are like $10, but I'm only purchasing those like once every two or three or four or five years because you guys know I keep things forever. Literally until they start ripping, I will keep my things. But this just feels nice. Like it's nice to know, especially if you have problematic skin, it's nice to know that your washcloth is actually clean because how many times have you gone to wash your face and your washcloth smells like things are growing on it? But that wet cloth is a breeding grounds for bacteria to grow. So I'm officially hooked <laughs> just after using it for one use and just thinking about the true benefit of having a clean cloth every time you go to wash your face. This video is not sponsored. They don't know who I am. I just saw my girl talk about these and I thought, wow, that seems like it'd be really cool. So I'm hooked. I love them. They're really, really great quality. I think I'm hooked and I'm gonna start purchasing these. So I just wanted to share my experience because a few of you ladies, as soon as I posted about it, said that you were interested in these. If you have problematic skin or if you're a germaphobe, I am both of those, uh, I think you will enjoy this. Is it cost effective in the long run? No, but let's just think of it as another skincare product that you would repurchase every few months. <sighs> Yes, now I'm going to finish doing the rest of my skincare and I'm going to go pack. I will see you guys later. Hey guys, happy Monday. I have finished my appointments. I am at Ulta. I have to pick up some lashes. Are they open? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a curbside pickup. That's really the only way I want to go to stores now. <laughs> yeah. So this weekend I am doing a staycation. I'm so excited. You guys know I have not been on a vacation since February and I just need a few days to get away, relax, enjoy myself. So I'm just going right around the corner. <laughs> Nothing too special. Let's see. So I'm gonna pick this up and then go get my chipotle lunch you know the deal we get chipotle on mondays and then i have one more appointment i'm gonna swing by my p.o box and go home and work last night was a rough night as far as sleep it's been some rough days but i'm you know thankful to still have air on other floors so you know to god be the glory I will vlog this weekend, but it's a special video. So the vlog will probably go up sometime in mid-September. Oh, this woman looks like Anna Wintour. Yes! I love a good middle-aged woman who just looks so effortlessly chic. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank Great you so much. Okay. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> it's an inside joke. So I just got a pair of Ardell 600 lashes. 
I don't know if the ones I usually use are 600 or 601. I don't know. But these are my favorite, like, everyday natural-ish lashes from, you know, a regular beauty store. They're not super expensive. It just works for me. Trigger warning. <laughs> anyway, you guys, let me order my Chipotle. I will see you in a bit. I think the verses of this Monica and Brandy like come on all my 90s R&B lovers hit mm -hmm. me up let me know who you think is taking home the gold you course, already know it's not really competition it's more about um the culture but it's about the know, culture and the competition <laughs> so let's talk about it the verses going down when you guys are watching this it would have been yesterday Anyway, so this will be late. So I did a poll on Instagram yesterday to ask you guys, who do you have in this versus? Gunica, AKA Monica, or Brandy? Hmm. Monica is my girl, okay? Not only because she's from Atlanta, we have a special connection. I adore her. She's so sweet and genuine. I always tell people like, She's basically your auntie. Your auntie from the country. I love her. Personal, relatable, fun, genuine. Okay? I don't know about Brandy. I don't know her. I don't know Sis's life. I actually know nothing about her, actually. I do like some of Brandy's music, though. I'm going to post a little thing I found on Instagram yesterday that I did. Whose hits do you like more? I just prefer Monica songs. And it's not just because it's a little bop. I love her good R&B tunes just as much as I love her tunes that make me just want to go like this. Like, I just, I love Monica. Now, I call her Gunica because if you know, you know, she doesn't play. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I really love her. She's just so genuine. I love her music. She's just a real, a real person. She's a real, just a true Atlanta girl. I've always loved her music. Like I love songs that aren't even on the radio. I don't know. And Brandy has good music too. I think I liked Brandy's old stuff more than her new stuff. I don't really know a lot of her new music. Clearly when this vlog goes out, you guys would have already, oh no. This is going out the night before it comes out. So let me know who you guys have in the comments. Brandy or Monica, AKA Gunica. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily call myself a Brandy fan, but I do like her music. I am so excited. I don't think I've actually watched a whole versus like from start to finish. So this will be the first one. I'm excited. So let me know who you guys have down below. I'm gonna finish eating my Chipotle and watch some YouTube before I head to my next appointment. I'll see you guys when I get home. I don't know if I've, I probably haven't. So let me update you guys. So last vlog, you saw me get this silk oat here um milk for my coffee this is the one with zero grams of sugar and no flavoring it tastes like water so i'm gonna put a little bit of that in my yes chloe go ahead baby i'm gonna put a little bit of that in... i'm gonna put a splash of this planted oat oat milk this has vanilla flavoring in it and it has four grams of sugar i just need some type of flavor because the one I have doesn't taste like anything. So, let's see what this tastes like. When I did my iced coffee before, it still doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like strong coffee. I'm definitely a flavored coffee kind of gal. When I go to the store tomorrow, I'm gonna try the oat, the oat yeah creamer, I believe. It has four grams of sugar. I'm gonna try it for a week. 
But if I feel like it's making me fat, I'm gonna go back to the Kroger brand coffee creamer. The reason why I wanted to make the switch is because I have a lot less mucus when I'm not using a dairy creamer. So this isn't bad. It's just very strong and not sweet. I just got a call that I guess we are going out to eat tonight. So I need to get some work done so I can head out tonight. Um, we are going to a place that has an outdoor patio. So hopefully it is open. So let me finish drinking my coffee and do some work. Then it's time to work out because honey, I have not worked out since Friday and I feel it. And the star of that haul was uh, Maison Francis Kirk Jean Aqua Celestia. Now this is what I'm gonna say. If you have other aquatic scents, you don't need it. Aqua Celestia is nice, but it's nothing polarizing. It's nothing you really need. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> if you have another aquatic scent, don't even smell it. The only reason why I purchased it was because I don't have another light, fresh, crisp, aquatic scent. Most of my scents are very sexy. That one is not sexy at all. So if I would have found a scent like that in another brand that was cheaper, believe me, I would have gotten it. But because I'm not really going into stores like that, I don't really have the opportunity to try a bunch. I know you guys are always like, oh my gosh, you make me spend all my coins. Look, I get it because I have a long list of fragrance that I wanna try. But Aqua Celestia is one of those scents where if you just wanna get something new and you like an aquatic scent, cool. It's definitely not a showstopper. It is not one of the hallmark fragrances in that house. I would definitely recommend Gentle Fluidity Gold, Baccarat Rouge 540 in the Extrite version, Grand Soir, basically a lot, Oud Satin Mood. I would recommend all of those over Aqua Celestia. It was just that I don't have anything like that. So it served its purpose in my collection just because I go for sexy scents. But don't feel like you guys have to run out and get Aqua Celestia because you, you I don't think you'll be disappointed, but Baccarat Rouge is an A+. Aqua Celestia is a B, okay? She's cute. She's very nice, but... Whew, it doesn't give you the sexy band-aid vibe that Baccarat Rouge gives you. I just had to state that because I don't want you guys to buy it thinking that it's gonna be amazing like um, Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's definitely not. But like I said, it serves its purpose for me. And tonight when we go out, I'm definitely wearing Baccarat Rouge 540 because she is just beautiful. I am putting on my makeup for tonight. I have to leave in about 20 minutes. I'm excited to get out of the house. I've never actually done my makeup in here either, but you guys know that my air conditioning is broken. Eh, I just pulled out a gray hair. I feel very pale. That's okay. Okay, let me go wash my hands and get ready and put on my lip, even though I'm gonna be wearing a mask. <laughs> It's okay. So I will see you guys a little later. Hopefully I get a chance to vlog a little. If not, I'll see you guys when I get home. So I wanna put on a little, let's get a little jazzy. Let's put on a little highlight. <laughs> it can peek out of my mask. This is the um, Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow, my favorite highlighter. And this is the Sigma F35 brush. Okay, see you guys in a few. 
<laughs> I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing tonight. I have on this bodysuit. This is from Forever 21 Plus from like two years ago. I don't know, but I love it because it has really wide like straps. So they cover everything in the back. These jeans are just some like really, really distressed seven jeans. You guys know seven jeans are my favorite, but your girl has some big thighs and I'm afraid that by the time I get home, I'll show you, I'll insert a little picture. This whole thigh is gonna be busted wide open because there were two holes and then one got big and now I'm afraid they're both about to merge. So I need to go get that fixed soon because these are my favorite jeans. They're so comfy and stretchy. And then I'm wearing these Tory Burch Miller patent leather sandals and my green denim Chanel bag. I'll insert a picture just because it goes with everything. Yeah, let me get ready to leave. So we are at 656. I'm not First of all, shout out to all you spicy gals who were in my DM last night. You guys are so funny. It was just nice to get out and have some fun. Uh, we were supposed to go somewhere that had a patio, but then the wait was extremely long and it was raining. So we went to 656. Not my fave, but uh, the food is usually good. And like, how grown do I think I am <laughs> to go out? at night and then wake up at seven to go to my appointment and run errands. So yeah, it's been a really early morning, but I got everything accomplished so far. Shout out to the tsunami outside. I'm just waiting for drier, sunny times. It seems like it's been raining for like three weeks straight, but I want to, oh, coffee creamer. So in the last vlog, I told you guys, look what I ended up with. I was looking for the oat. What's going on? Come here. Oh, you sound like you're choking. Are you okay? Okay. I was looking for the oat, yeah, froth like a boss or something. My girl Catrice told me about it last week, but they didn't have it at Target. And because it's a tsunami, I didn't feel like going anywhere else and they didn't have it at Kroger. So I just bought the coffee made sugar-free. I'm trying to find, they did have an almond milk one, but almond milk has like a really weird type of taste and texture to me. But I'm just looking. <laughs> you are a human. Do you know that, Chloe? She always has to be sitting on someone's special blanket. You're a human. I just wanted to let you know in case you were not aware. But yeah, I'm trying to find a dairy-free creamer because especially during COVID times, it's really not great to have a lot of mucus, but I can't find one. Well, there might be some, but the ones that I'm finding that are sugar-free don't have any flavoring as well. And it just tastes like milk and coffee. So for now, I'm going back to Coffee Mate. I don't know. I guess I could do half Coffee Mate and half 
oat milk until I use the oat milk up. But that's what we're doing. I also found this little AHA beverage. It was new and pretty. I wanted it. So I didn't get too much at the grocery store. I needed things for a Cobb salad. I am making chicken tacos this week, so I needed low-carb tortillas. Ranch for my tacos. Uh, two avocados for my Cobb salad. An onion. A tomato. Tomatillo. Some salad greens. So a lot of the things I had for dinner this week were already in my refrigerator. I'm making salmon and asparagus, which the salmon's in there chicken tacos, and Cobb salad. Easy, easy meals, you guys. I know you guys love when I share what I'm making on Instagram, but honestly, I haven't been in the mood to make really big meals, so maybe in September I'll do that. Also, I've started planning out the rest of my content for the year. Do you guys want Vlogmas? I don't think you can do polls anymore, but if you can, I will leave it above somewhere in the corner. But let me know down below if you would like Vlogmas. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to do it. Maybe I will just do like 10 to 15 minute vlogs every day. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to want Vlogmas, but I just have to find a way to make it conducive to like my schedule, my routine, the people in my life who don't wanna be on the internet, which I have to respect. So let me know how you guys feel about it. I definitely want to do Vlogmas, but it would have to be a condensed version. Just trying to think about my content for the rest of the year. So let me go and disinfect. Well, I'm pretty much done disinfecting. <laughs> Let me let this uh, cleaner sit on my groceries, make some coffee. It's such a dreary day, you guys, but I have a lot of work to do. I will fill up my skincare fridge today though, so you guys can help me with that. I'm super excited to have a skincare fridge again. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. And I'm but this thing is for the necklace. Sephora has a sale where VIB Rouge gets 20% off of anything that they sell in store or online. And I usually go a little ham because you get a really amazing discount. So you guys know I'm a big planner, especially like I didn't shop the latest Sephora sale where you could save $20 because I didn't budget for it. So if it's in my budget, I can do it. If it's not in my budget, it's a no-go. So I'm just trying to see what my budget will be for the sale. And one thing I wanted to get another of was my tweezers. So Tweezer Man's mini slant tweezers are my favorite. I will link these down below. I just find that they fit perfectly in your hand. I use these for my eyebrows. If you guys don't know, uh, I don't get my eyebrows groomed at a salon or anything. I just clean them up myself and then I fill them oh, in. Oh. Sorry. And then I fill them in with ABH Dip Brow, which I will link down below as well. So I was like, you don't have to buy another pair of tweezers. I remember when you purchase them, they say that they offer lifetime free sharpening. So I go to their website and surprise, surprise, they're not doing sharpening right now because of COVID. So I looked up a way to easily sharpen your tweezers. So I'm gonna show you what they said. Any pair of dull tweezers and a really good nail file. This is my favorite nail file. I use it when I do my gel manicure at home. I will link this down below. I bought it from Sally Beauty Supply Store. It's amazing. You will never want to use a 99 cent nail file again. 
It's super, super sturdy. So you take it like this and you put the nail file between both sides of the tweezers and you just, you go back and forth. Then after you do that, you close the tweezers and just run it up and down like this. Okay? And you should be able to hear that they sound a bit more sharp. So uh, previously, when I would go like this, you couldn't hear anything. So now let's see if I can easily tweeze my eyebrows. Oh, 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 they're so much better. I don't even have to be close up to my mirror to actually be able to tweeze hairs. Wow, so this is a little sharpening hack. If you guys have tweezers, it doesn't matter like what brand they are, but if you are looking to sharpen them instead of repurchasing them, definitely try this hack. I will link these items down below. Miss Grace just got sick. She just tried to, I guess she tried to consume an entire chicken bully stick or whatever it is. I'm walking um, by the butler's pantry and I just see a whole bunch of dog mucus and stomach acid wrapped around this little chicken <sighs> dog mom life, you know? My dog, like even though I call her a human because she is super, super intelligent and she's very sneaky and manipulative, she's also still like a child and she puts everything in her mouth. So let me go clean up this mucus membrane chicken thing. Why? Why? So I'm melting my butter, getting ready to sear the salmon. The asparagus looks like it might be ready. I guess I won't be putting um, garlic on it anymore because it kind of like crisps it. And that's not, that's not what I was going for. Baby, you can't have salmon, baby. Do you want a treat? Okay. Let's see what's in our freeze jar. What do you do for a treat? Good girl. Ah, good girl. You're welcome. <laughs> Ooh, it smells so good, you guys. Okay, the asparagus is out of the oven. I finish it off with some grated Parmesan cheese. Just a little bit. Okay, here's the finished product. This is pan seared jerk salmon. It's my first time making jerk salmon pan seared, but this is my favorite way to make jerk salmon. Shout out to my friend. She taught me how to, and it is delicious. You just don't give up. I mean, perseverance is a great like attribute, Chloe, but yeah. So yeah, this is gonna be my dinner. One of these pieces of salmon, as well as some asparagus. Bon appetit, family. So this is just where I have my makeshift skincare fridge. You guys know my air conditioning is not working in my room. So right now I just have it in here. So everything fits perfectly. I do like that this is taller than my previous skincare fridge. So now if I want to keep my cleansers and my toners in here, I can. There's this little kind of like drain for any condensation. There's a really nice pocket on the door for all your masks. I just have my favorite Saturday Skin uh, hydration masks. I have all of my other masks in there. I will link all these products down below. My Estee Lauder moisturizer, my Timmy Blend Detox Mask, which I love, my Kiehl's Overnight Mask, which I love, and my Mario Badescu Honey Scrub. I also have my Rose Quartz Face Roller, a Fresh Mask Sample, my Evian Mist. I have two Advanced Night Repairs, and I also have my Timmy Blends Repair Oil. So I'm gonna let this cool down. It is getting cooler and I'm gonna see what temperature I should keep it on, you know, that's best for my products. So far, I'm loving this fridge. I also like that it has a really nice carrying handle. So if you do need to travel or take this with you or move it around your house, it's easy to do so. 
Now this is my old skincare fridge from Teamy Blends that stopped working after three months. So, um, yeah.